In this video, I want to show you how to use sample thinning and the light version setting here in the patch browser as a means of optimizing your memory and loading only the samples that you need and thus reducing the memory footprint that your Trillion patch takes. Let me refresh your memory on this part. So really, I'm only using two notes here. I'm using the F and the E flat. Let's bring back Trillion. And what we can do is go into the light version zoom. Now, what a light version means is it'll allow you to load in only a portion of the samples. And we set the criteria for which samples are loaded in this light version zoom option window here where we can set various parameters. Now, when light version is enabled, it loads in a smaller sample set, but it's different than preview load because preview load is meant just for auditioning sounds and it'll revert to loading in the full sample set when you either turn it off or close the browser, whereas light version is meant to be used as a permanent loading of a reduced sample set so it stays loaded in that lighter version with less samples. So let's look at our options here. We can optionally include or exclude the round robin samples and we can have no limit, meaning some patches use up to 20 round robins. We can leave them all enabled, use a maximum of four, three or two, or no round robins. I'll leave it at most four, since I know there's only four round robins in this version anyway. And you'll see here the light version is flashing, meaning it's going to be enabled. And you'll see here also that the memory is going to be reduced. Let me put this back to no limit. And we see here it's going up to 122 megabytes. And if I go into my system here, we have 122 megabytes used. Let's go back here, and as I go into the light version zoom and reduce some of the options, we'll see the memory decrease. So this isn't going to decrease, actually, at four round robins, because that's all there are in this patch. If I went to three round robins, we'd see it reduce slightly. There, it's 91. We can also restrict which velocities are going to be loaded. Now, in this case, I'm using only one velocity, and that's for illustrative purposes, but normally I'm using more velocities. But you can optionally exclude velocities. You can have it load every other velocity, every third, every fourth, only a single velocity, or only velocities above or below a specified value. And when you're using light version, a default is to only load velocities above 65, since velocities below 65 aren't used quite as commonly, of course, depending on your style of music. But here you can customize which velocity ranges are going to be used. Now, same thing with legato samples. We can have no legato samples loaded or no limit, meaning it'll load all the legato samples based on the legato interval that you have set. And here's where it gets really interesting. We can train it to use only the pitches that are used in our part. Now, first we have some presets. We can load only every minor third or every specific interval that we can set here because normally we have a sample on every semitone, but we can load only every whole tone every minor third, every fourth, every fifth, etc. So we can have the samples mapped out at wider intervals and it'll stretch the samples. So you're not going to have holes in your sample set. They'll just be stretched. But where it gets really interesting is using the pitch training. We can also have it load samples based on specific scales, by the way. But where it gets interesting is the pitch training. And when you do this, you teach it to use only the notes you're going to need. Now we're going to see the memory go down drastically here. I'm going to go begin training. And I can either hit my keyboard or play my part, but I'll hit my keyboard. I know there's only the two notes that I'm using. So it's learned those two notes, and I'm going to go finish training. And now we'll see it's going to be using only 13 megabytes. Now, this is a dramatic example. Most parts don't use only two pitches and only a few velocities. But just to illustrate how this works. So I've trained it now to load only those two samples in for the F and E flat. Now, the rest of the range of my instrument will still work. But instead of being multi-samples, it's that F that's transposed up across the rest of the keyboard, so it doesn't sound that great outside of the range. But in this case, this is a part that only uses a couple of notes, and I could easily do this to save memory. Now we have this option here for keep light version selected, meaning that when you open and close the browser, it'll remain in this light version mode. So when I close this, we'll see it flashing to let us know that we're in light version mode. And if I go to system, we'll see in the memory here that we're only using 13 megabytes. So this is a great way to optimize your memory when you're using parts or sounds that don't require the full range or round robins or legato samples or full velocity ranges, etc. And you can always revert back to loading your full sample set in by turning the light version button off. I'm going to open the zoom. You don't need to open the zoom to do it, but I'm opening it because I want you to see the memory 
usage. So we're at 13 megabytes, and when I revert back, it's going to load the rest of the samples in, and we're back to 174 megabytes. So this is sample thinning on the patch level. When we do this, we're thinning out the samples based on the entire patch, but we can also do it on a per layer basis in the sound source zoom. So let me close that up and we'll go in. And in this case, it's only a single sound source. We're only using layer A. But if you go into the sound source zoom, we have the sample thinning options here as well for round robin velocities, legato samples, and pitch and pitch training. So again, the difference is here we can train it separately or set the limits separately for each of the two layers when you're using a full patch with two layers versus doing it from the patch browser where it applies to the overall patch. See you for more in the next video.